this is weird. And we just got to jump into this. I've been sitting here trying to figure out how to show you this. And I just need to show it to you. My friend Bart, I met him at the Excel conference in Amsterdam back in April. And he whooped his challenge on me. And Mike Gervin, Excel is fun. He's come up with several solutions. And I'm going to make links to his uh, solutions over on his channel. Here's the deal. Three stores. Wegmans, Publix, Trader Joe's. We've got people who are part of this loyalty program. Now we have their usage data. We would like to divide those people up into eight categories. Here is our list of card holders. 68 of them. Here's the usage. 208 transactions. All right. And this pivot table shows us Jody has shopped at all three stores. Juliet only at Trader Joe's. Eunice has shopped at just Publix and Wegmans. And we can look at it this way. 13 people haven't used the card at all. Seven people only at Wegmans. Nine people have shopped at all three. And I have it broken down this way. These are the card holders who have not used the card at all. And then here are the people, the amounts they've spent and the number of visits for the people who've shopped at all three places. Then one store. In seven visits to Trader Joe's, Lloyd has spent over $700. And then two stores. AJ has been to Trader Joe's six times, spent over $300, and Publix just once for 75 cents. See, the original question was one of just breaking down who's in what list. But I felt like it was interesting to see the spending levels and the number of visits. Because somebody like AJ, he spent the vast majority of his money in six visits to Trader Joe's, never been to Wegmans and spent only 75 cents in Publix. That's interesting. Rather than just having him on the two store list. Let's add a little data here. We've got Levi as a card holder now. OK, so I'm going to go up here and refresh all. I need to hit this twice. We should see 14. Yep, 14 is unused. And then there is Levi in the unused category. Now, Levi has made a transaction. Let's go to the one store tab and let's hit refresh. Levi shows up over here. And I'm just going to take you through this. It's too much to try to explain. We would be here for a long time if I explained all of this. I'm going to leave you the workbook so that you can download it and play with the details. Dig in if you want to. We start by making queries for connection only. So I've got a usage query and a card holders query. Next step, figure out unused. That is a simple anti-join. OK, let's go and look at that query. Here is how we figure out who has not used the card. Up top, all of the card holders. On the bottom, usage. The left anti-join is going to give us a list of card holders who do not have usage. Let's go OK. All we have to do here is remove the column and then close and load this to the workbook. OK, and it is right here. The spending for people who went to all three stores. Let's look at that query. Edit. We start with the usage data. And then I pivoted. The store names create columns and then we have the amounts in the values. OK, so now we have the pivot table and then I did a filter. 
we want to keep everybody who does not have null in any of the amounts at any of the stores. So let's look at that. So we have a pivot of everybody. We want to keep Andy. We want to get rid of AJ, Benny, etc. Beautiful. Andy remains at the top. So this leaves us with a list of people who visited all three stores and how much they spent. Next, the number of visits. Start with the source. Pivoted. Filtered. So now I want to know how many visits did it take Andy to make at Wegmans to get $118.39? That's the goal. So I need to unpack this. So I just get Andy's name and then I merge. I take this customer list, just these nine people, and do a left outer join with the usage. Then we expand that column and get the store data. Then group. So I group by customer, by store, and get a count of the rows. Okay. Then pivot and reorder the columns. So now we see three visits to Wegman is what Andy made. And then I loaded that next to the spending data. Next, let's look at the people who went to just one store. Let's look at Trader Joe's only. Okay. Edit. Here's the source data. Then I pivoted. So this just lets me know who spent money where. All right. Then filter. I want to show rows where Publix and Wegmans equal null. Okay. Now we have just the Trader Joe's shoppers. Remove columns. Now we have to merge queries again. Left out a join. Take the list of Trader Joe's customers and bring in their usage data. Okay. Expand the column. Then I remove this customer column. Group. Okay. So we group by customer because we already know the store. Then have our visits count rows and do a sum of the total spending. Okay. Juliet in 10 visits to Trader Joe's has spent $635.91. And then just rename the column and then close and load it. Okay. And here we are at the one store sheet. Now, let's extract the people who've shopped at both Wegmans and Trader Joe's. Here's that data set. Let's look at the query. Start with the usage data. Pivoted the column. I filtered the rows. Let's look at that. We want to keep the rows where Publix equals null. And Wegmans and Trader Joe's do not equal null. That gives us what we want. Okay. Now I don't need that Publix column. Now I'm going to get rid of these columns because I really just want the list. Okay. Now I need to merge queries. I need to get the Wegman Trader Joe's people and bring in their usage. So that's a left outer join. Okay. Expand the column. 
I don't need that customer name. Group the rows. Group by customer and store. Then count the rows and sum the amount of money that was spent. Okay. Sort. We don't need each customer on two rows. We need them on one row. So we've got to get either Trader Joe's or Wegmans out to the side. Get that data out into its own columns. I added a conditional column in order to get the Wegmans data out. So we're making a new column called Wegmans Visits. If store equals Wegmans, then bring me back what's in the count column. Okay. Then another conditional column to get the spending out, do a fill up and then filter. In the store column, we only want to show the rows that say Trader Joe's. All right. See from fill up. Right. And then filter. Cool. Then I don't need that store column anymore. And then rename the columns. Trader Joe's visits and spent. Wegmans visits and Wegmans spending. Close and load that. I will leave it to you if you want to dig out the Trader Joe's and Publix and then the Wegmans and Publix. If you do want to see this in detail, let me know. All right. Hopefully this gives you an overview of this challenge that Bart sent. And also Mike Gervin does do a good job of getting right down into the detail. Thanks a lot, and I will see you in the next video.